If what you are looking for is a nicely half-ton towable couples camping travel accessible travel trailer, then congratulations, you have found it. The 24 RL Feather here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. She's about 55 to 5,600 pounds, depending on what optional equipment you put onto it. That's the dry weight, obviously. Uh, and guys, it's only like, what is it? 28 foot, seven inches tip to tail. That's from the front of the tongue to the back of the bumper. And then with the fact that this layout gives us a lot of kitchen counter space, not to mention a heated belly, Goodyear endurance radials, and a best in class warranty, you've got a dynamite big time package in a smaller half ton towable capability box here. Now, this is also going to be very handy for somebody who maybe you've got something like an Expedition or a big class SUV. Uh, you know, proper weight distribution, all that, you'd handle this one just fine, so you don't gotta give up your daily driver. And the hits of this thing start right at ground level by getting rid of the carpet in the slide out. That is something I think people have been asking for for a lot of years. And there's a little more engineering that goes into it than I think people realize. And Jayco's done a fantastic job of nailing it here. Because probably the number one place you don't want carpet is right here in the dining area. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but man, it is nice to not have to worry about it. Uh, the uh, slide floors are also uh, given a radiant barrier lining that you're not really seeing. And that is going to really help keep your heating and cooling a little more consistent through here. This model is also fantastic at giving us amazing window coverage. And what I love is how it wraps all the way around the RV. And the way that this kitchen is set up, the windows on the door side, they kind of merge the kitchen and the living room in a way that's hard to find in a lot of campers. On the back side here, we have ourselves a theater seat. Now, this is not the standard sofa. That is an optional thing that we've added into this right here. But it comes with a couple neat little kind of bonuses. First of all, it includes a, uh, well, it's not, a, it doesn't include, it just is a wall-hugging cinema seat. So you don't have to wrestle that thing around to recline it. That is a little known, often missed factor in a lot of RVs is that a lot of your theater seats are not wall huggers like these are. They cost a little more, but you're going to enjoy it a little more. Uh, additionally, if you do want to just sit at your theater seat and like, you know, do a little work on a tablet or set down a plate and do some dining, they have these removable kind of swing out dining table stations that actually slot right into the cup holders of the sofa. It's a little unconventional, but it works great. But what's neat about it is you don't lose like all of your cup holders. Like I'm a person, I always like to have a drink at hand. I consume a very large quantity of liquids on a daily basis, which often means I need to use the restroom like a pregnant woman. Uh, you know, I, I didn't used to be that way. And then when I started losing weight, I started drinking a lot more water. And suddenly it, it just felt like Niagara Falls. It just, I just couldn't say, you know what? I don't think this is the direction I want to take this conversation. We're, uh, yeah, we're going to hard pivot. We're going to pivot off of that. And look at this awesome, uh, not related to uh, bathroom facilities, XL vent fan up here in the ceiling. That is a high velocity output fan. So if you are cooking up a storm, or if you just want to open those windows and force some great airflow through, you can. Now, one of the other cool things here is uh, these windows over here and the window in the bedroom, they are all under that big patio awning. So if it's just a little bit drizzly, you can leave that vent open and really kind of pull in some fresh air. Our cabinetry is all pocket screwed. We're going to pop open all the storage space we possibly can. But it's those little Jayco details like those metallic struts up there. They're a little bit nicer. They make it so you don't have to juggle everything open with your head. And they don't wear out. Like a plastic strut will last a long time. But now you just don't have to worry about it. Because the metal stuff tends to last unless you really do something wrong. And I love how above the entire kitchen counter you've got more of that overhead cabinet space. Speaking of which... If you are looking for counter prep space for days, I'm going to call this an Energizer Bunny kitchen because it just keeps going and going and going like my mouth. When I say something stupid to my wife, I just never shut up. And I think if I keep talking, I can fix it, but I can't. And by the way, look at the wall panel as we uh, look at the kitchen exchange here. That is a full length countertop to cabinet bottom backsplash. Now, one of the things I like to offer you here at Halo RV is a little perspective of someone who's been doing this for a dozen years now, and I can't before that. I really wish manufacturers would start doing side splashes. I, I don't, it, it is unfathomably rare, and they all do it. 
not just Jayco. And if you appreciate little kind of, you know, transparency tidbits like that, hit that like and subscribe button because you know we're always going to be fair and shoot you straight. This is all sealed countertop space here in the kitchen, by the way. And you've got, I, I like this pop-up power tower in the corner because if you got like a coffee maker or a griddle or something, you've got all this prep space, you can utilize it. But that is not your only set of outlets. You do have another one back here. Uh, before I get too far along, I do want to point out what we are looking at today is what is called the vintage washed gray decor. There is also the modern farmhouse decor, which has like those lighter, brighter, whiter tones with the distressing on it. What is interesting is this deep chocolate color over here. That never changes. The only thing that changes is just the color of the uh, you know cabinetry in this area of the RV. Now, as long as we're looking at storage, I want to take a look at the optional 8.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge that we've put into this one. Regardless of what fridge you get, you'll always get that cool little bonus drawer below. And something else I want to point out is behind that fridge next to the entry door, you have yourself an extra storage pocket as well as a uh, coat hanging closet right by the door. Really smart space for it. The standard fridge in here would be a six cubic foot two way. So this significantly increases our total cold uh, storage capacity by uh, well, about a third, a little more than that. Now, you saw that we had the power tower in the corner. We had extra outlets under the overhead cabinets, but that's not all. Coming in through our three P of power. We have ourselves yet another set of outlets. In case you're curious, that red switch is because it's GFI protected. Uh, that If you don't know what GFI means, it means you're not going to get electrofied, which, you know, no, no, nobody wants. A little bonus pocket here next to the sofa under the counter. Uh, what would you put there? I would really love to know. To, hey, you know, to, hey, Josh, here's what I'd put under the kitchen. Leave me a comment. I would, uh, I'd appreciate knowing that. And they've also got themselves plywood drawers down to the floors over here. This is a model that has become very good about storage capacity. It's gone through a couple little tweaks over the last couple years, and they just keep on cranking out the hits with this thing. And again, every little pocket that was possibly available is all opened up in here and i love those doors to the storage below the dinette they make it so that you don't have to tear everything apart to get to that storage um there are windows all around that dining setup by the way and like you see on the right hand side and you saw in our bonus flash footage in the very beginning of the video all of these windows open for airflow. If you are really looking to just, uh, you know, get some cross breezes going, you don't want to have to dead rely on the air conditioner, you don't have to in this one. Now, another thing that's great on this one is how that entertainment center, it is directly across from the theater seating sofa where I'm standing currently. And I also thought, you know, these folks might like a look at this thing without the cabinetry all blown apart since I don't think you've seen a good look at the kitchen that way. Um, the uh, Ferion 12-volt fridge that they're using here, one of the things I like about it is it does have easy exchange faceplates, which means the fridge always matches the decor of the RV. There's a lot of 12-volt fridge users out there, but a lot of times you're stuck with like either stainless or black fronts. And I, I kind of like how Ferion does it. They make the faceplate exchangeable just like campers have had for years. It just, I don't know, it makes a little more sense to me, man. That is, if it wasn't so cold, that'd be the perfect little laid-back napping chair. The other problem with that is uh, I'm not a sleazy employee, and, you know, I don't sleep on the job. So let's get moving to the bathroom, shall we? Now, a couple things about this. With the dual entry doors and the fact that the bathroom is located right next to the main door, it is always easy come, easy go. I don't care if you're making a travel stop or if you've been at your campsite for a week. All you got to do, pop the door in, do your business, hop on out. You don't need to worry about any sort of slide access. And we will get to see the RV with the slide out closed uh, in just a moment here. Now, are you noticing how the decor has changed? Jayco does that a lot. This is the modern farmhouse decor. The bathroom, no matter what you get in the living room, the bathroom will always be the modern farmhouse decor because it's the smallest room and they want the lightest, brightest colors available for you. The extra large radius shower gives me plenty of elbow room. My head does need to stand in the skylight of that shower. And uh, don't mind my little Snoopy hat keeping my little ears and balding head warm. It's just one of those necessary things that I need. But the fact is, you know, I'm going to spend, what, eight minutes here in the shower? Maybe a little bit longer. It's enough. It's enough headroom that I can do what I got to do and I can get back out. Now, for leg room, it is surprising. It, it looks a little cramped, but when I sat down there with my long legs, I actually got along 
just fine. Now over here, this is simple, but really smart. A lot of manufacturers tend to leave this wall totally, totally blank, and it drives me crazy. I love that Jayco gave us a place to, uh, you know, either like set some either decorations, uh, roll up some extra towels that you can kind of stack in there, almost kind of burrito style, and the towels that you are done with, they can join the Octopus Fight Club and they can duke it out. Couple things for you up here in the bedroom as well. First of which is right up top above the bed. That is this extra vent up here. Uh, I would say it would be easy to upgrade to a power vent, but oh snap, Jacob already done did that. Just makes it, you know, one less thing you gotta worry about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I'm leaning at a funny angle to get that shot. Um, my shoes apparently are a little slippery. Uh, like Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet album, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. That was not a good reference. I'll work that out of my own time. But the point is, that would have been really funny if I fell down and busted my face. Uh, the, the bed. Let, let's get back to the topic at hand. The bed is a camp queen, but that means a short queen, by the way. It's 60 inches wide, 74 inches long. They left you a ton of space at the foot of this bed. J feathers are all camp queens. White hawks and above are true queens uh, with options for kings. But if you wanted to, you could easily swap a true queen into that. There's That that would be a very, very simple thing to do. Uh, now, I tell you what, let's crack everything open. We've looked at all the other storage. Let's make sure we get to see this, shall we? And I wanted to give you a good look at all the storage in here. You can see you've got overhead cabinets, not just a shelf. Shelves are nice when you get there. You can put stuff up there. But cabinets are nice because you can leave them packed while traveling and you don't have to move stuff and, and rearrange things. I also really like that extra little kind of overhead pocket right here. I think that that would be a good place where you could maybe like just, you know, reach up and set your phone out of the way. But there are some little hidden side stands behind these hanging wardrobe towers that we will see in just a moment. Now, obviously, you've got the hanging rod there, but you're like, eh, there's a shelf in the way. Well, it's removable. The thing is, if you want to turn that into dresser space or if you want to have hanging space, you can do whatever you want here. And I also really like lifting these beds up in a Jayco because you see that even where you're not looking, they're still using some nice superior materials like plywood, and they sure make it easy to get to. Now, both sides of the bed have household and USB plugs, but you also see that they have these little switches. Well, that will give you your own personal, either say like reading light or kind of quick spotlight so you can see what you're doing in those little hidden side stands. And there's that light I was talking about in that little hidden pocket, but what's great is it has one more secret surprise. You have a set of household outlets back here, so CPAP users, you can sleep easy in uh, J Feather here. And it's Big Brother Whitehawk actually does the exact same thing, by the way. And the final feather on the interior of this one's hat, if that makes any sense, which I don't think it does, but I'm going to roll with it, is the fact that this one has like... 99% travel accessibility. You can see we can get to, I, I think, anything you can reasonably need when the slide is closed. You can get to uh, basically all of the storage. Really, the only thing you're going to lose out on is just the entertainment. And I guess you could technically climb into that far theater seat. I just don't think you're really going to. Although, if you open the shades, I guess you could watch TV through the slide windows. <laughs> um, by the way, when you're traveling, it is best advised to put your table down for sleeping. You don't necessarily need to put the cushions in place like I have here, but that will help keep the table in place and keep it from bouncing around and damaging your RV. Appreciate little tips like that? Hit the little subscribe button. We're always working stuff in. Using our entry door as a reference point as we step outside, one of the first things I want to show you is the fact that this is a nice anti-slam door, even with my double layered mittens because it's getting cold. I got gloves and mittens kind of layered up here so I can, uh, double glove, uh, uh. Uh, the idea there being it's cold, but I got to run a camera. Anyway, it's anti-slam. And of course, one of the major things to talk about in any Jayco is the fact that they run with an unparalleled warranty. There's there's nobody else in this class that is matching that two plus three uh, warranty thing they're doing there. If you'd like some more clarification on that, feel free to give our team a call or leave me a comment. I, I can fill that in for you as well. The key like sticker there. That is a very handy thing on these so that that main entry door and like all of these baggage doors, they all operate on the same key. So it's just simple and easy for you. I've got the other baggage door open so you can see the magnet holdbacks in action. But something I often forget to point out on these is the fact that they're not just rear camera ready, they are also side camera ready. And combine that with the fact that this has the J Smart lighting system, which let's say you flip on your right hand turn signal because you're gonna change lanes or whatever, or you just bump it. <laughs> Um, not that I've ever done that. I've just, it's just that I do that a lot. Uh, the uh, signals along the entire side of the camper will blink along with that, kind of like a semi-tractor trailer. 
And it is mind-boggling to me that that is not like, I don't know, regulation, government required equipment on like every towable RV. But little safety factors like that are things that Jayco has always done very, very well. This ride's on a different chassis from a lot of Jayco things. It's on a Norco chassis. It's kind of an aircraft style thing. It's a Z frame, not an I beam, but it's made with higher strength, lower alloy steel, which means lighter but stronger. Not the least expensive chassis you could find out there. 20 pound tanks for easy swaps, and you see the power tongue jack on the front doing the heavy lifting for us. Now, over here inside that front compartment, have ourselves a handy battery disconnect, which is a great feature, not just because this RV has that 12 volt fridge, which has its own way of shutting off, but just the fact that there is always some level of parasitic load in an RV eating away at your batteries and being able to shut that down like the girl shut me down in high school. That is a handy feature. By the way, you can't probably really see it here, but there are power outlets uh, on that other side of the pass-through compartment. And you notice how it gets like really tall here. That's because uh, these are kind of like preset. If you sort of felt like doing something like putting a mini fridge over there, you could. But as you'll see in a few minutes, this floor plan, you don't have to because it's already got one. Our slide out is slide awning ready. That's those kind of brackets at the top of the slide there. It makes it simpler and easier, more reliable to put some slide awnings on a camper like this, which we can assist you with in our parts and service department. Uh, black flush. Outside utility shower, conveniently located just above the sewer hookup station here. And as long as I'm getting low, getting low, getting loaded, you can see the underbelly is enclosed. It is also forced air heated. That will give us a pretty good extended season package. Like my hands are freezing right now. You're probably seeing my breath skate into the, uh, the frame as I'm talking because it is chilly. But this camper will be able to handle that. Uh, you know, whether if it's in like the high 20s or something like that, probably my guess is this camper could get in the low 20s into the teens, but I can't guarantee that, guys. But just speaking from personal experience, pretty sure you get that done. Goodyear Endurance Radials, 87 mile an hour rated, uh, American made. I mean, I don't believe there's anybody using better tires in the travel trailer industry right now than Jayco. This right here is also a very easy uh, time to get to see the heavy, heavy tint on those windows. In this class, most manufacturers are using window tint, but not all of them. A non-tinted window will make the RV look and feel brighter inside, but it will also absorb more heat from the sun because it's not keeping that solar radiation trimmed down. This will also help keep furniture from fading by keeping that solar radiation from penetrating the RV. Now, in addition to turn signal lighting, this also has backup lighting uh, so that if you know, you're like me and you're not paying attention and you want to make sure that somebody else behind you who's paying more attention than you doesn't run over somebody, uh, it's a uh, you know, handy feature to have. And they put some serious patio space on this one. Check this thing out. It starts all the way on the dead back rear wall and it goes up past the bedroom window, which is kind of cool. Cause that means like if it's a drizzly day and you want to keep some airflow, you can keep it rolling. Or uh, let's say, you know, you've got your grandkid and they're doing something they sh shouldn't be doing. I'm not saying I'm speaking from experience. I'm just saying my grandmother's voice came out of the window of her fifth wheel more than once when I was camping with her. <coughs> Um, now, in that rear corner of the countertop, there was a chunk of space that you couldn't really get to. Well, Jacob said, well, we ain't going to waste it. We're going to give you a nice little, uh, we're going to call that dad's medicine cabinet out here. And uh, that way, you know, you can keep some bottled water and some barley pop out here where it's easy to reach. So you don't got to go tracking through the whole camper. Now, there's these little side pockets over here where if you wanted to, you could certainly put, you know, a couple little odds and ends. And there are some people who go, I don't care. I don't want that fridge there. It's not a factory option. It's a standard feature, but it's only a couple screws holding the brackets down. It's easily removed if that's your interest. Outside TV hookups, aluminum wheels with the cool Jayco emblazoned uh, easy lube kind of hubcaps. And of course, our best in class Goodyear endurance radials. Now, I want to uh, point out something here on these steps. These are the standard steps. First of all, it's nice that the standard step on these J feathers is an anti slip aluminum plank. So, if you've ever been like by a boat dock or something like that, you know, your shoes get wet, you slip slide around. So, they've got little aluminum treads to make sure that you keep your feet in place. Those little, I don't know, sandpaper pads, whatever you want to call them, make sure that you're not going to slip slide around. Uh, we would normally build this with a uh, set of stable steps, those Moride stable steps, 
But we know that not 100% of people love these. So we actually do bring a small number of these Jayco's in without those stable steps like you're seeing here. Kind of like uh, the interior decor. We'll probably bring some of these in with uh, the modern farmhouse decor as opposed to the vintage decor that you're seeing today. We try to bring a little bit of variety here so we always have something for everybody. And inevitably, we're always going to miss a thing or two. There's someone who's going to want some different combination of what we have on hand. No big deal. If you don't like the one that we have on hand, give us a call and we will get one kind of built to your personal preferences, needs, wants, taste, whatever. All right, it is currently frosty, a little more than I realized. I probably shouldn't be up here, but I'm kind of dedicated to a fault. Like, I hate doing one of these full video tours and not trying to fully cover this RV. You know, you folks, you spend a lot of money doing a weekend vacation like this, and I feel like you deserve all the info, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try to brave the elements and make this thing happen here. Uh, first of all, look at the little cleats around that air vent. You see those little uh, kind of prongs sticking up? If you wanted to add one of those like roof rain vent blocker covers on this thing, you could do so without having to actually screw anything into the camper, which basically means uh, you know less warranty concerns. Now, speaking of which, you've got Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system up here. We've got heavier duty uh, rafters, basically, plywood decking. And if you're not familiar with what all that means, effectively, ladies and gentlemen, it means a stronger roof rated for more weight and more stress. Now, the other thing I wanna uh, handle before I get down, man, it's cold up here. I'm having trouble even catching my breath after climbing that ladder, then again, uh, you know, I, I might be packing on a few extra pounds right now, so that's probably not helping my lung capacity. But anyway, <laughs> the uh, black plug right there, that is the roof solar prep, standard on all of these. Jacob does also offer a factory solar package. But one of the other cool things is over there in our service center, we can basically custom build you any kind of solar package you would prefer. And that's the thing with solar. It is not one size fits all. It is what size fits you. So if you give us a chance, our little electrical tailors, ooh, I like that, they will uh, size you up and get one made for you. So thank you very much for hanging out with us a little bit today and putting up with my terrible dad jokes and my little wild off the, you know, tangent craziness. If you appreciate the information I was able to provide in the video today, please hit that little subscribe button and follow along. Uh, if you like the camper, hit the like button on the video. If uh, there is something, like, like let, leave me some comments. Let me know what kind of things do you like. What else would you like to see? Is there something different or do you have a question, something I didn't answer? I'm always looking for feedback and uh, you know, making sure I'm doing the best job possible. Now remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees at Haywood RV, but we sure do everything else, whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, <gasps> RV delivery or everything in between. We do it all. Because it's supposed to be about making this simple, fun and easy. It's camping, man. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.